video I will uh, I will focus on um, the the doubles uh, back player or doubles in uh, in general uh, about having fast feet, being able to push away from the center position back to the center position, but also focus on the fast racket, the fast movements in the racket. We will focus on the um, the back player in the double, keeping the initiative in the rally in the, the mid court out in the sides but also in the in the back court we will uh, we will focus on how to be able to keep the initiative in the rally so in some cases we can get the lift and then do the the really really hard attack now you can get 15 percent discount if you buy the protect sock from uh, lightguard all you need to do is use the discount code badminton In the doubles, we have um, we have more small jumps than in the singles. The singles they have to cover uh, long distances. They have to move uh, in all the corners on uh, on the court. In the doubles, it's more uh, quick movements. It's more small jumps. So it's also important that you train these small, quick, explosive jumps back and forth to the middle, out to the next one. So it's not too slow and it's not too big, slow movements. So first thing that's important when we want to move fast away from the center or fast in general, being able to push away from the floor, covering all these shots in a really, really uh, quick, quick movement is to be a little bit down in your legs. If we have the stiff legs, you won't be able to use your muscles. You can't push away from where you stand. So a little bit down in your legs, so you have a good balance and you can push away to the sides or to the back covering all of the shuttles. What we also need to focus on is the space between our legs. If I am down my legs, but in here, it's still very tricky for me to push away from the center. If I'm all the way down here, I can almost not move in this position. So we can also go too far out with the legs. So it needs to be somewhere in the middle where you feel comfortable and where it's, uh, it's good for you to push away and you have that good feeling in your body that this is the right place to be. So down your legs and a little space between your legs so you can move properly. If you want better support on your ankles, your Achilles and your feet in general, I can recommend the Protex Sock from Lightguard. When we are in this position with our legs, it's important that we don't go up on our heels. We don't go all the way up on our toes, but just a little bit on our toes. So we have the ability to push away. It's all the, the muscles, all, it's all the toes in the front of our foot that gives us all the power to be able to jump away and move really fast. So stay up on your toes just a little bit. And when you are in this position, it's also important always to be in movement so you don't just stand like this and waiting wait 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 but you you're ready you're ready to move you're ready to move to do all the split steps to do all the, the quick jumps so up on your toes and then have some movement in your legs so you are in a very very good position of moving really quickly away from the center position i am uh, right-handed so in this example i will uh, talk uh, to you about uh, how to move your your legs, if you are uh, right-handed, the, all the lefties will just, you know, reverse that and uh, do, it, do it the other way around. Um, so 
What's important uh, in my example when I'm right-handed is my right leg is, uh, is moving all the time and my left leg is pushing me away from the center out to the shuttle in both of the sides. So it could look like this, that my right leg moves forward while my left leg pushes me forward in this case. Uh, so don't go out on your left leg, but move your right leg all the time to be able to move fast to the shuttles. So the left leg pushes you away and the right leg moves in front of you depending on where the shuttle comes. So that was uh, some of the movements, how to, how to move properly, how to be quick in your legs, how to have the fast feet and cover all the shuttles. We also need to focus just a little bit about how to hit the shuttles and how to um, approach the shuttle with the, with the racket and with the arm, but also how the, the position of our arm is when we are, you can say, waiting for the next shot. It's important that you are up here because in this example, we have the initiative, or at least we are in this uh, position. We are not in the defense position in this example. So your arm and racket needs to be up somewhere in front of your head. So you are really, really quick at just pushing with a small movement up to the shuttles coming, maybe out in the side, but I'm ready up here. If I stand down here, it will be too slow. I need to move it up like this and down again and move it up and down again. So that will be too slow. So keep it up here so you are ready for all the shuttles coming to the midcourt or going back to the baseline doing the smashes. It's important that we are as fast as possible reaching for the shuttle, hitting the shuttle in the earliest possible situation. So if the shuttle comes out here, I don't wait and hit here. I just stretch my body and hit it very, very early. The earlier I can hit the shuttle, on my side, the more pressure I will put on my opponents, being able for me to keep the initiative. So stretch for the shuttles out, out here to hit it up high and far close to the net. When you hit the shuttle, it's important that you don't think full power and full motion in your arm. It, it needs to be uh, small, quick and powerful strokes especially when we play to the front of the court. Of course, in some cases, if we want to put a hard pressure, we can, of course, do it with a bigger motion to put more pressure on. But in this example, to keep the initiative in order for us to get the lift, I would recommend you to do small pushes, small fast movements with your arm and with your racket. What we want in this example is to get the initiative so we need to have these small movements where we just push the shuttle with the finger power and in some cases also uh, hit soft to the net. Move quickly to the shuttle but hit soft to the net so we can get the lift. So just to sum this video up, we have the focus on the fast feet, the position of our legs, low gravity, the toes, a little bit up in the toes, the right leg moves, the left leg pushes you away to the shuttle. We have been talking about getting up with your arm, rack it up high so you are ready to cover all the shots coming in front of you or in the sides. 
We'll also be talking about the small quick movements, the use of the, the finger power. And all of this combined is uh, the ability to get the initiative and uh, be able to uh, put a lot of uh, pressure back on your opponents.